So many churches have become sacred societies for snubbing sinners. I'm grateful for our fellowship. People have been telling me we've been having a good time in our small groups, and, I'm, and that's great. But friend, hugs and hallelujahs are not enough when there's a world around us dying and going to hell. Would you agree? Now listen, we have to be committed to share our faith. You say, but pastor, you don't know these people out there, how they live, the beer, the cursing, the adultery, the filthy jokes. You want me to tell you why they do that? They're sinners. That's what sinners do. You ought not to be surprised they do that. Their major problem is not their cursing and their dirty jokes. Their major problem is they don't know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior and Lord. They need Christ. And we've got to go to them. You say, well, I want to be separate. Yes, you need to be separate. You need to be holy. But friend, you need to understand that separation is not isolation. Jesus was a friend of sinners. That's why they crucified him. They said, this man is a friend of sinners. Thank God he is. Because if he weren't, I wouldn't be here today.